Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to all of you. If you're new and you're tuning in for the very first time then please do hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give today's video a like. So the Aerosoft Twin Otter for Microsoft Flight Simulator is out now and it's available for you all to enjoy in your own hangars. Uh, here's the parachute version, the variant, great livery initially and I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes soon on flightsim.to by uh, means of community liveries as well uh, and then we'll be looking to create our own for the channel as well so do keep your eye out for that over the next couple of uh, videos episodes if you like we're going to go through how to get this thing started how to fly it from a basic amateur level like myself getting hold of the controls of this for the very first time wondering how on earth to keep it in the air and uh, working through a couple of those checks now it comes with a 166 page manual which of course is not something that everybody is going to want to read so I'm going to work to summarize all of this into an easy to understand tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy it let's dive straight into the flight deck all the links are in the description down below so if you do want to purchase this fantastic add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator then do check out the description and uh, as always share your thoughts in the comments below We've dived into a cold and dark flight deck and you can see we've got the flight controls on as well. So we're going to work through the startup basically. We can click down the bottom here to get rid of the flight controls. We let the sounds play. You might have already got things like doors open as well. So you can go ahead and close some of those uh, as required. First things first, ensure all the levers are back. So back as in all the way to idle and uh, you want prop and fuel off as well so all the levers are back rear facing and the fuel emergency switches need to be checked to be in norm there they are norm that's off that's normal then back up here in the stack easier from the captain's point of view left of the overhead next to the throttle you've got DC master external battery all that sort of stuff so battery EXT switch to bat down it goes, DC master on. Lights as required. Up in the overhead you've got all your lighting, so uh, you can set your cabin lights as required as well. But effectively you want things like the position lights, fasten seatbelt sign lights. And that's pretty much all you need to worry about at the moment. Um, when we go to start engines we can turn the anti-collision lights on as well. And as you can see, we've got the rotating beacon flashing and we've got the navigation lights on. The edges of the wings as well. Orbex Skiathos Airport, by the way, stunning bit of scenery by the Orbex team. So let's get the engine started. Gens 1 and 2 need to make sure they're off. They are already in the off position. There's on, there's reset. We can turn them off. And the caution lights need to be tested. So in the overhead panel, just below the light bar, tested. <laughs> Bar handles need to be in. And again, that's here. Bar pull. Right and left engines. They're in, as we can see. Bar panel test. Illuminations and sounds. Fuel boost pumps, one and two test. Now, some of this down here, if you want to hide the stack, just press the yoke area down the bottom here, the bottom of the collar. So test left and right together and then you want to make sure they are on. So forward and aft boosts on. Starter right engine on. So back up to the left of the overheads. This is where getting the right view is going to be key. So set something in the middle. Starter, right engine, on. Down here, on the controls. GG for the right engine, gas gen. 12% now, condition lever on. Back to the overhead. Fire up. Wait for the engine start. Sounds are fantastic. See the panel lights dim as well, absorbing power, voltage, uh, with the starter being pressed.
all the sounds, by the way, this is recorded using a beta version two days prior to release. So some of the sounds being tweaked still, you might hear some differences. Okay, back in the overhead. Left engine start, same process. Gas gen, waiting for 12. 12, ignition lever, on. So at the moment we're idle with a feathered prop. Now we can unfeather them. Add power to 70 gas gen. So left and right, stable, just over 50 at the moment. You can see the prop RPM is increasing. Now if we increase this to about 70 for gas gen, the RPM. Round about there, it's probably as good as I'm going to get with my setup. we we'll speed up the aircraft, getting itself set up to fine pitch, basically. So that's what that's doing at the moment. Now, back in the overheads, generators left and right can go on. Flaps to 10. And throttle to idle, which we'll do in just a second. A couple more checks, all in the overhead panel now. Taxi light on. Landing lights on, pizza heat on, ready to taxi. So, there we are. Just in less than 10 minutes, so I've taken you guys through the startup procedure, the Aerosoft Twin Otter for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you've enjoyed episode one. Join us, make sure you check out the next video, which is going to be takeoff here at Skiathos, managing climb out and uh, heading towards some form of cruise at a basic level aimed at everybody to be able to enjoy this aircraft. So, of course, if you want loads of in-depth use of this, do refer to the checklists and the manual that's been supplied by the Aerosoft team. Share your thoughts in the comments below if you've got some tips for startup or anything that you like to do for your own simulator when you're using this. Do share it with the community down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.